Kevin, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're great. Nice. Good, right? Oh, what a nice day. <laughs> Where it's legit, like, I met Joseph Gordon Levitt online on MySpace, and he said he was totally real. Like, he was telling me about his times on the set on, um, on 500 Days of Summer, and I'm so excited to meet him. And right. are you M her 2568? Wait, how do you know that? I'm just going to let it. Was it was yeah, so it was fun. so good! Yeah. Oh yo, it's free candy! Okay, hey, Alex. Have you ever smoked corn? No. Cool. Cool. Let's go this way. Jason, we've been through a lot together, um, although we can be competitive at times, if you know what I'm saying. Um, he's a really great guy, and him and this girl are mad cute together. Um, I know we're going to be seeing a lot of each other in the next few years. Uh, hopefully, he'll go to the gym more, because um, he needs to work on that, and uh, I'd love him. Um, so I'm definitely going to miss Jason a lot. Like, I know we're going to miss next year, but... I'm definitely the most happy here in this like, by my side in CSC. I feel like he's always been that strong, like still a guy who's willing to step up and do like the hard work and doesn't complain. We had some good times together at CSC. I remember flying for an hour at Night Market doing that Spectrum like, masterpiece. And that was a lot of fun. Like, I got to talk to you about it. And um, I, I'm, I'm really glad that we were able to play together. And I we were so close. And I'm looking forward to a few more years together. Big heart. He cooks a lot. And he's a good guy. Uh, Ming, do you even lift, bro? JK, I know you don't. You're pretty small. Uh, I really enjoyed getting lost with you in Brooklyn and dealing with Angela. Um, but most of all, Ming, you're one of the most knowledgeable and thoughtful people on board. You've been able to save us from countless like potential food disasters. And um, I also really appreciate the fact that you can speak your mind whenever you want, um, especially when it comes to elections. You were able to speak out on board and live by your principle, and I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Um, Kayleen, I'm definitely going to miss her showing up at my door to watch the board meetings on Sunday together. Uh, I remember saying to her, we're going to hang out all the time next year, and her replying with, let's be real, who's actually going to have time next year? And all I have to say to that is, it will happen whether you like it or not. Um, She's just a beautiful soul, and she always has her priorities together, and I just definitely respect her sense of self, and I love her so much. 
Kaylin, you're the awesomest person I know. You're so nice and you're always bringing everything in coolness. You know what you need to do and you always do it with such cool and awesomeness. The mallets you gave me during um, the Christmas thing helped me through the toughest moment of my life. Finals and depression. Not really. But when I'm lonely in my room, I just take it out and do a little matte lips and it just brightens up my day. You're the bomb. And whenever you become a famous film director, remember I can always be a plus one. You can just holler at me, girl. Justin's a little weird, but in the best way possible. <laughs> he's so capable and he's one of the most amazing people I've met here in that he can do literally everything and he does it so well and I can't wait to see what he does in the future. But I really miss him on the committee, even when he made me do design and I was so bad at it and I beseeched the good name of Photoshop, he still was very nice to me and complimented me even though I didn't deserve it. So thank you, Justin. Justin? You mean the guy in swing theory and is awesome in basketball? He always gives me orgasms every time I listen to his music. And he's the nicest guy that I know. I, he always ate with me and he always entertained me with his stories. And I remember his like crazy hand motions all the time when he told the stories. But I sometimes don't agree with his movie choices. I really don't think Oz the Great was really not that great. But I'm gonna miss him, man. He's always down to chill with me, so I love you. So Raymond, I feel like I have all the dirty deeds on him because I was a co-head um, for benefit dinner with him. But actually, I really I feel like I got to know Raymond really well with a lot of our talks that we had. Um, we just talked about life and stuff, and he is such like a sweet person and it's just truly like a caring person and I don't know, he definitely cared a lot about everyone in CSC despite the fact that he still does everyone's stuff all the time but I really think that he's such a gentle and sensitive soul and I will miss him next year. Wait a minute, we've been wieners for the past year together and it's been so great having someone to walk with and talk with to all the CSC or Greek events or just Columbia events in general. Um, especially, I really enjoyed having our whole Matrix party in my room with Jessica. That was really fun. Um, also, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to all our late nights slash early mornings, heart to hearts, where we talk about just random stuff that happens um, in our lives and all that gossipy shit that we do. Um, uh, you've always been the jokester and trick trickster guy in our group of OCMs. And I don't know if you know, realize how valuable and just how important that it is to have someone like that and miss all the crazy neurotic people like me. Um, I know I'm definitely going to miss you for next year in CSE, but I know I'll see you around and it definitely is not the end of, end of this. <coughs> and you are such an electrifying soul. You're one of the coolest and chillest people I've ever met at Columbia. Um, and you're such a sincere person. I've always enjoyed working with you. Um, and I, I, would, I regard you as a source of inspiration. You always encourage me to work hard uh, to achieve my best, but at the same time you encourage me to enjoy myself and I really respect that. Um, I've always been able to confide in you um, and I know I'll be able to see you. First time I bumped into you, you were walking out of your second round interview for OCM and I was going in and I just remember you were sweating so much and when I asked you about it, you said you were just taking a shower and I just kind of thought to myself, who is this? crazy girl. Um, and I don't think you've, you've really lost your crazy and I think for our pretty serious OCM class we've always been that little extra spice that sometimes we need it. Um, and it's been awesome working with you um, at LG. Uh, your balance of reason and also having these huge ideas was exactly what me and Clarice needed. Um, we're really going to miss you at board meeting but I'm excited to live with you in Ruggles. Um, I'm sure we've seen each other a lot. Um, Charlotte is one of the first um, people on CSE that I met as an OCM and we had that instant connection and I'm so glad that the past two years I feel like we've had so many experiences together, we've both grown so much and aside from her being one of the most like passionate and driven people that I know in life, she's also just such a sweet and caring person and she's been such a great friend and I'm going to miss her next year but I'm definitely going to see her around a lot. So Charlotte is definitely someone who I could say is a role model for me because Charlotte works so hard but she's also one of the most compassionate people I know and she's really genuine. 
with what she does. Um, I'm really lucky that um, she and I agreed that if CSC had bigs and littles, that she would be my big and that I would be her little because we really appreciate like, you know, like food and cupcakes and stuff. But yeah, um, but Charlotte um, is really amazing and I'm gonna miss seeing, um, not seeing her at um, CSC. And next year, but I know that I will be able to always, you know, just hit her up and talk to her because I couldn't before, like, McBain, Midnight Prime. Anyway, that's, like, not the point of this, but I'm so excited, um, Charlotte, to have, um, future, uh, like, sessions on the steps so and just hang out and chat. Duo, I'm so glad we ended up being Nightmare to Hedge together. I know things weren't always perfect, but looking back on it, I just want to thank him for putting up with all of my neuroticness and stress and for all the crazy random shit that ended up happening. Seriously, just for being there and being calm and just being the rock that that our Night Market had needed for Night Market. It was just so valuable. Um, Night Market is like, it's such a huge event. If I had to do that by myself, I would have, I don't even want to know what would have happened. It would have been just, it would have been a shit show. I just know that. Um, so for all the 5.30 Night Market meetings, and for all the crazy, crazy constant emailing we had to do back and forth, for all the summer Skype sessions, for all the calendar that we never used, for the group, for the group meet that we used way too much, uh, for all the bagels and the pie toss and the food trucks, I just want to thank, I just want to know, how the hell did we pull that shit off? I really have no idea. But I'm so glad Duo and I got to do it together. Um, I'll see you around and yeah, keep in contact. Oh, Duo, I remember I met him during NSOP. He was, he was one of the coolest guys I know, and he tried to rush me into Lambda, and obviously that didn't work. Just kidding. But for some reason, he always wants to eat dinner with me, and I have an excess number of swipes, so I'm always down to eat with him. So, I'm gonna miss you. Jessica, you're the nicest and sweetest person I know. It was, always, it was great being on food committee with you. You always know what we have to do. But you let us take in a little food when we are hungry as well. That's like great. Thank you. And um, I remember the times when we were up, you know, partying it up after <laughs> um, night market, and it was really fun. Thank you for always being there and always putting a smile on your face and always asking me what, how I am, and how I'm feeling. It really brings a smile to my face and makes me know that there's someone always there for me. Thank you. It's the bomb. I had the pleasure of being Jessica's little daughter this year, but you know what, she was a little bit of a whore because I knew about Anna Tang and that she was her mistress and she broke up our family, but it's okay because she was a loving mother to me and she was a dedicated CSE member and even though she was safe for MCATs those two weeks when she was literally about to rip her hair out, she always had a smile on her face and she always knew how to make you laugh and I'm going to miss that next year even though she broke up our family. Ethan! So Ethan is, I guess, basically the joker of CSC because all he does is just, you know, like mess with people, make fun of me. Like, I guess he's not like Ray and steals my stuff. But like, anyway, he's just a mess, like half a child. <laughs> Sorry, this is supposed to be nice. But in all honesty, Ethan is one of the most um, kind souls that I've ever encountered. He would not do anything to really like hurt a fly or anything of the sort. Um, I really appreciate that he's always open to, you know, hanging out and everything, like, um, like the time before Ikasu, when we were supposed to, you know, when he graciously hosted a pregame to the pregame. Anyway, but yeah, Ethan, like, I'm, like, I'm gonna really miss you next year, but I look forward to seeing you on, on campus and just, um, having your presence here at Columbia. Ethan, I still remember back to our first board walk-in when you came in late and all we knew about you was that you're this military guy from Singapore so if this lock-in wasn't already awkward I thought the scary dude coming in would be even more awkward but the longer and the more months I spent with you we all learned that you were um, older, wiser, and more responsible and definitely a kid at heart. Um, I love being in committees with him um, and now even when I don't know anything about money I always text him to figure out what in the world I'm supposed to do and who can forget your bartending and your wonderful drinks before LG um, you spent, you stayed up later than the LG heads to make those drinks, and that's some crazy dedication. So I'm so happy to spend these two years of CSC with him, and I'm so happy to spend the next two years of college with him. Valerie, I remember the first time when I met you was at the CSC OCM 
mingling session and every, all the board members pointed in the direction and said, talk to Valerie, she's the friendliest person here. And they were right. Uh, <laughs> you're, I'm gonna miss seeing your smile next year and be working on deck with you was amazing. No one appreciates twigs when you do. And <laughs> I'm really gonna miss seeing your smile. Valerie. You think that someone as bubbly as her would have some evil intentions deep down inside, but she really doesn't. She is just a genuinely nice person. Um, I'm definitely going to miss her next year. I think that she's always the voice of reason and um, she always has a smile on her face. And uh, whenever I see her, I just get really happy. Um, I hope that she visit visits us often next year and I know that I'm going to text her whenever I have a question about something, so I'm going to miss her. Yeah. Um, so I think Jackie's really always been an inspiration to me. Um, I definitely value the time that I spent with her in CSU. I feel very fortunate to have been to get close to her. Um, I remember all those times we you know, had dinner at JJ's place or fly together with me. And I, think, I feel like every time you know, I talk to you, I have a conversation with you. Um, knowing that you're going to leave CSU makes me feel like there's some very big shoes to fill. But I know that I always be able to look up to you as a game model and a source of inspiration. So last eboard revolutionized is technology and how it's used at CSC and Jackie definitely played an important role for that. She revamped our website such that we were came from like smiling things to faces. And um, I don't even know how many cover photos and how many profile pics she has made, but she has been such a great asset to CSC. Um, we have been so lucky to have her creative talents and inspirational ideas. Um, to have such such precedence for CSC and CSC's future. Um, CSC has been such so lucky to have her, and so have I. Thank you, Mommy. David, my big bro, uh, he's very presidential looking. Uh, when I first saw him, I was like, wow, that guy looks like he's CSC's president. I think it's the eyebrows. Um, but he's a really nice guy, always looks happy. I hope he finds a girl soon. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of each other in the next year because we're living together and I really hope he likes cuddling. Okay. Hello. David, it's been a long two years in CIC waiting to take over your spot. But in all honesty, thank you so much for being such an inspiration. Um, you've really shown me what it takes to be a good dictator, I mean president of CIC, um, and how to lead CIC into victory. Um, and I'm really looking forward to your guidance next year. I'm going to miss your goofy smile and your ridiculously intelligent commentary. Um, so stop by often and say hi. together. Um, it can be competitive at times, if you know what I mean, but uh, you're third person, right? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll be seeing him a lot in the next uh, four years, not four years. Fuck, 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 uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> but most of all, I mean, I appreciate you for, um, for your fuck. <laughs> <fun. laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughtful people, person. Fuck. <laughs> I had the pleasure of being Jessica's little 
Wait, shit. What? <laughs> Jackie's always been an inspiration. Wait, start over. James, can you just stop? So, I think Jackie's always been an inspiration to me. Am I looking at the camera? Crazy, crazy shit that's going on on top of it. Um, if I, 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 I'm, ah! Uh, uh, Anna, you are such a, an electric buck. Okay. An electric? <laughs>